Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie and today I am here to do my December TBR. So, in the month of December I am pretty much setting myself up to fail as far as how many books I want to read this month. My TBR is ridiculous to say the least. I am very behind on how many books I want to read this year, which is a total of 100. I'm at 83 right now. So this month is just going to be a whole month of catching up on those books that I need to read. And I have a total of 17 books on my TBR. Yeah, I'm crazy, guys. I'll say it right now. I'm insane. So without further ado, let's jump right in and get started. So the first few books I have to talk about today, I'm actually currently reading. The first one of those being Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. This is by J.K. Rowling, John Tiffany, and Jack Thorne. This is considered to be the eighth Harry Potter book. This is a play that follows the story of all the characters we know and love from Harry Potter 19 years after the Deathly Hallows has taken place. I am about 30 pages into it and I'm really liking it, which is surprising because I didn't expect to like it, but I really am. And I did theater in high school, so I'm hoping this book will take me back to what it was like doing theater when I was doing it. So yeah, I'm excited to continue on with this. And the other book I'm currently reading is Bridger on the Orient Express, and this is by Agatha Christie. This is a classic book I'm sure you guys have all heard of. This is a thriller novel that, takes, that follows a murder on a train, so that's pretty cool. The new movie adaptation to this book just came out last month, and I'm dying to see it because it stars Leslie Odom Jr., who played Alex, or Aaron Burr in Hamilton. So yes, I'm really excited. I'm 20 pages in, and I'm really liking this as well, so excited to see where it goes. <laughs> The next one I have to talk about is going to be very exciting for anybody who has read this book in the past because it's a hugely big book here on booktube and that is The Night Circus and this is by Aaron Morgenstern. This is an adult fantasy novel that follows two young wizards who are trained to be like the top wizard during this circus and that's all I know. Again, I've heard nothing but fantastic things about it so I'm hoping I will like this. The next book I have to talk about is... The School for Good and Evil, and this is by Saman Chanani. I hope I said the right. I apologize if it didn't. This is a middle grade novel that follows two best friends who are going to the school. One is, well, the school split into two sections. One is the School for Good, one is the School for Evil. And one of them thinks they belong in the School for Evil, but they are put into the School for Good, and vice versa. And again, I've heard nothing but fantastic things about this. My friend Lisa over at Books and Smiles read this last month or in October I can't remember off the top of my head and she really liked it and she's going to continue on with the series so I'm hoping I will like it as well. The next two books I have to talk about were both on my top 10 books I want to read in 2017 video. I'll link that video down below if you guys are interested in checking it out. The first one of those being The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. This is a very well loved historical fiction novel that follows a young girl who is living in Germany, Nazi invaded Germany. And she is just trying to survive. She is stealing books. So, again, I've heard nothing but fantastic things about it. And I feel like I'm the only one who has never read this book. So, I'm going to get to that this month. And the other one of those books that's on that list is The Hidden Oracle, which is book one of the Trials of Apollo series by Rick Riordan. I have read almost all of Rick Riordan's books up to now. I have read all the Percy Jackson books. I've read all the Heroes of Olympus books. I've read the entire King... Chronicles trilogy. I am in the middle of the Magnus Chi series and I just have this series to start. So I'm hoping to get this done by the end of the year because I would love to have at least a good majority of Rickerman's books done by the end of the year. If not, I'll finish them all up next year. The next few books are all library books that I'm dying to get my hands on. The first one of those is Prince of Thorns and this is by Mark Lawrence. This is an adult dark fantasy novel and that's literally all I know. My friend Lisa over Books and Smiles I mentioned her earlier in this video. I'll link her channel down below. Go check her out. She's amazing. She read this a few months ago and she really liked the first book. The other two books in the series I've heard mixed things about. I believe she actually DNF'd the third book but she said this first book is really intense and kind of gory so I'm hoping that I'll like it because I do like dark fantasy. The next book I have is Shadow and Bone. This is book one in the Grisha trilogy by Lee Bardugo. I read Wonder Woman Warbringer by Lee Bardugo last month and absolutely loved it. I really want to give her some other chances. So this first book is set in the Grisha world, which is a world 
where the Grishas exist and they have like some sort of magical abilities. I've heard great things about the plots of these books and the romance, so I'm hoping that I will like this because I'm dying to get to Six of Crows in the near future. Speaking of very popular books here on BookTube, the next one I have is Never Night by Jay Kristoff. This again is a very very popular dark fantasy book here on BookTube. This follows a female assassin. That's again all I know about this book. But everybody says it's fantastic. The second book just came out in the series two months ago, I want to say. So I'm hoping I will like this. And can we talk about this cover? Seriously, it's gorgeous. And the last library book I have on my TBR for this month is The Hammer of Thor, which is book two in the Magnus Chase and the Class of Asgard trilogy by Rick Riordan. This is his Norse mythology series. I read the first book back in October. Really, really love this. This follows Magnus Chase, who is the cousin of Annabeth Chase, who we see in the Percy Jackson books. And he is, on, in the first book, living on the streets of Boston. He is homeless, and one day he finds out he is the son of Frey, who is the summer god in Norse mythology. And it takes off from there. It's really, really fun. It got great representation. We have a lot of representation in this series. We have the main character, Magnus Chase, I believe is questioning. We have a Saudi Arabian uh, side character. Just a lot of representation, so really, really good. I'm... I really enjoyed the first book. I'm hoping to enjoy the second book just as much or even more. And the last few books I have to talk about today are all review books I've gotten from authors or publishers. So thank you all to these authors who are sending me these books. The first one of those is Miseries of Mr. Sparrows by Matthew A.J. Timmons. I don't know much about this book. This is a thriller novel and I'm assuming it has to do with uh, ancient Egypt because that's what I'm getting from this cover. Yeah, so it sounds pretty good. I will definitely be interested in checking this out. The next one is like my oldest review book I have on this stack. I think this is like one of the first ones I ever got and that is Focusing Emptiness by Michael P. Staples. This is a literal, I guess you could say literary fiction novel, but if, or it was pitched to me kind of as a literary fiction but it could also be a mystery novel it's pretty short it's like let's see i think it's only two 208 pages so it's pretty short i could probably finish this in a day when i decide to pick it up the next one i have is fatal trust trust and this is by todd m johnson this is another thriller novel that i know nothing about i kind of like to go into thrillers and mysteries not knowing anything so hopefully i will enjoy this the next one is June, and this is by Miranda Beverly Whitmore. This is another thriller novel that follows a character who, like, wins a mansion from, like, one of her recently deceased relatives and kind of takes off from there. I don't know much else than that. This is one I've seen around BookTube a couple of times, and people seem to really enjoy it, so hopefully I'll enjoy it as well. The next one is... Wings of the Wind, and this is by Colin Cassette. This is a biblical fiction novel, and I also realized, actually, after this book came in the mail a few months ago, I didn't realize when I picked it up that it's the third book in a series, which kind of worries me. I have to look more into this before I actually read it to see if I have to read the first two books, because I'm not sure. Also, I don't really read biblical fiction. It's not something that really interests me, but if... It does come to it. I'll probably give this a try unless I decide to unhaul it. I'm not sure at this point, but hopefully I will pick this up. The next one I have is Infinity, and this is by Tabitha Lord. This is the sequel to the book Horizon, which I read back in June and really, really liked. This is actually an art copy. This came out like in the middle of June. And this is a science fiction series that follows our main character. Her name is Callie, and she escapes her worn tor torn world and goes off with a man named Derek and they kind of try to save the rest of her people from a huge genocide that happened in on her world so that's pretty cool the first book was really really great I gave it I think a 3.5 out of 5 stars so hopefully the second book is just as good the second last book I have on my TBR is Heart on the Line and this is by Karen Whit Whitmire and this is a historical romance book that takes place in the Midwest. That's 
all I know. So, I kind of like this cover though. It's kind of cool. And the last book I have on my TBR for December is The Eye of Nefertiti, which is book two in the Pharaoh's Cat series by Maria Luisa Lang. This is a the sequel to a book I read back in September, I want to say. And I really enjoyed the first book. This is actually a companion novel, so you don't necessarily have to read the first book in order to read this. But the first book follows a cat who befriends a pharaoh in ancient Egypt. There's time travel elements, there's fantasy elements, it's a little bit of everything. I enjoyed the first book for the most part. It was one that kind of blew me away when I read it. And I can't wait to pick up the second book to see where the story goes from there. And that is all I'm going to have for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. I'll be sure to have my top 10 videos. I want to leave top 10 books I want to read in 2017 video linked down below along with Lisa's channel. Be sure to go check those links out. It would be awesome. And also I will have all my social media links to so my Twitter, Instagram, Goodreads, and blog are always linked down below if you guys are interested in following me on that. And with all that being said, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you soon for another video. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye!